When Green Island Superintendent Mike Mugit isn't immersing himself in paperwork regarding Common Core standards and APPR, running an entire district out of a K-12 building, or attending Green Island athletic events, he likes to spend his time writing. His latest work is a book that addresses the current state of education in New York. ...of all stages that advance toward their dreams, their multidisciplinary themes. I just wanted to express myself. I wanted to take the, um, the experiences, the ideas, the feelings I've had now 36 years in school, public school administration, and reflect on them in a venue now that's compressed in time and money and with ever-increasing expectations. And I, and I think I just wanted to put it in paper to express myself, and then it became a book. Testing became excess and proved a logistical mess. It created lots of stress and didn't measure success. Teachers the book new... starts in 1999 and chronicles a fictional elementary school that suffers from the shift in educational standards and closes its doors in 2013 and is then repurposed as a senior center. Longshore could be any one of a number of schools that have closed as a result of the budget crisis that we've experienced, not only in New York, but across the country. And of course, every time, particularly at an elementary school like Longshore, that every time you lay a teacher off, you're emptying a room. And when you empty a number of rooms across the span of a school district, then people start looking at the numbers and subsequently can close a school, save money, redistribute the learners. To make matters even worse, as if it was an evil curse, the state raised the performance bar, mandating the APPR. This unfunded regulation caused more budget strength. The book creatively uses words and rhyme to cover all of the changes in state education, including APPR, Common Core, tax caps, and equity in state funding, but the title of the book tells the whole story. My favorite part of it, actually, is the title, because the words in the two sections are the same, they're just rearranged. From once there was a school, and everything that it holds as a promise of the first day, of the new outfits that the kids are wearing, the smiles, their hope, the aspirations that they have and their parents have, to the second part of the title, which is a school was once there. And again, it's the same words, but just rearranged. And what a dramatic difference from welcoming the kids on the first day of school with backpacks full of hope and dreams to the point where it's the last day that the building will ever serve as a school. So are the echoes of laughter gone forever after. The big sign above the front door read Senior Center of Longshore. I muttered in despair, a school was once there.